Hey, what's up everyone? John at the Geek here, and today I'm going to be updating the BIOS to my Gigabyte uh, Z68 UD3P uh, motherboard. And so uh, hopefully this uh, guide is also applicable to other uh, Z68 Gigabyte motherboards, mainly the uh, UD3 models. Um, but anyways, um, let's just get started. So the reason, part of the reason why, and if you're here, you're, maybe you're here from uh, my uh, Hackintosh videos and uh, my latest upgrade to Lion, it requires me to um, have an updated BIOS. So that's what I'm doing here today. So um, here on the Gigabyte website, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Intel Socket 1155. That's what my motherboard is. And I'm going to choose the Z68 chipset. And then I'm going to choose the Z68 um, X UD3P. Where is that sucker? It is right here. So when I click on that, now I'm going to go to Downloads. And I'm going to choose the BIOS. And uh, right now there is the uh, most stable version is F7. And uh, there is a... F8C, which is a uh, beta, a uh, kind of a experimental BIOS. I'm not going to really go for that right now, but I'll choose the F7. Click on America for download. Right. So the file that it actually downloads is an executable file here. Right. And uh, that doesn't do us any good if you try to copy that onto the um, thumb drive and try to go into the BIOS and set it up um, because that's what I'm going to be actually be doing. I'm going to do this the uh, manual way and not this automated kind of system, whatever it is that they pack here. So I double clicked on it and clicked on OK or Run, and uh, what it did is that it um, unpacked this little file here, and you can uh, update the BIOS if you want. Um, using this auto executable file but I'm gonna run this old school by going into the BIOS and and um, flashing it uh, this way because sometimes if you do it in Windows uh, it something could go wrong and this is a very delicate operation where you could ruin your motherboard and you know you could have some antivirus program running and it blocks whatever it is uh, that it's trying to do and and so it could just screw things up so um, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is copy it onto my Kingston um, thumb drive here. This is formatted in uh, FAT, I think, yeah, just plain old FAT. Um, you should have one in uh, FAT or FAT32. You could also have it in NC, uh, NTFS as well, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just copy it on there as is. So I've got my BIOS there, now I'm going to restart and actually boot into the BIOS. Alright, so once the computer is rebooting, what you're going to do is press the delete key numerous times until you get into the BIOS here. All right, and uh, the first selection is the uh, motherboard intelligent tweaker. I'm just going to go in there just to see what BIOS version I am currently on. And it's right there, F5, very far behind two iterations to be exact so um, that's just to look at what BIOS you have now down at the uh, first screen here right over on the corner there's a option that says Q flash and so this is for um, uh, flashing the BIOS and uh, you have to press F8 on the keyboard not the letters F and the number 8 but up at the top above your numbers key there is a function F8 here, right there, right? So you're gonna press that. And uh, when you press that, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna enter in the QFlash utility? Press enter for yes. All right, so we can have the option of backing up the current BIOS to a drive. So if I choose that and press enter, now it's going to ask me, okay, what drive do you want? And it recognizes my thumb drive there. So I'll press enter again for that. And then now it's asking me for a name. I'll just call it backup 
one and I'll press enter now it's backing up the BIOS this is a very delicate operation do not power off your machine or let anything happen to it while it's backing up and saving and once this is done we will begin the updating to the new firmware uh, you don't necessarily have to do this this is just precautionary if for whatever reason something were to go wrong or you don't like um, the new BIOS that's in there you'll have the uh, previous BIOS readily available on the thumb drive already alright so now that it's done uh, backing up the BIOS we are now ready to update to the newest BIOS so uh, we're back here at the screen and uh, if you couldn't get out of the uh, saving part then just go ahead and restart hit the restart button on the on the case on your computer and then uh, go back into the BIOS and back into the uh, easy flash here so or the Q flash so uh, go to the update highlight the update and press enter then choose your uh, thumb drive which should be the HDD 0-0 so uh, here's our thumb drive and there's the uh, backup uh, that we made earlier but uh, we're actually going to update to the F7 BIOS so highlight that press enter and uh, this is where you're gonna press enter again now it is updating the BIOS and uh, this is where you hope that nothing goes wrong and that power doesn't go out right now because this could potentially brick your system this is a very delicate operation and this should only take not more than five minutes uh, first it has to erase and then it has to uh, write or actually verify then write alright so that's pretty much it copy BIOS complete it's a pass press any key to continue now um, escape to reset and then I'll go ahead and press enter so my computer just shut down don't be afraid sounds a little scary but uh, it'll start back up again so don't do anything we're gonna go back into the BIOS and check the uh, version of the uh, BIOS and it should be the F7 and apparently it also erases all of your settings alright so we're in the BIOS now and we're gonna go to the uh, motherboard uh, intelligent tweaker and uh, as you can see here the BIOS is now updated to F7 BIOS and uh, it looks like I've lost all of my settings which is kind of a pain but something you gotta go through it even lost my uh, saved profile on here for my overclock settings but uh, while I'm here I might as well just go through and uh, make the changes that I need to make so uh, it is I believe it's January 15th yes 2012 the time however is uh, not 2200 but it is 1400 it's very important that you have the correct time on here right okay so um, just personal preference I like to go to halt on no errors and then under the advance uh, hard disk boot priority yeah we can leave that right now I just have my Hackintosh hard drive plugged in quick boots I'll do enable um, first boot device will be the CD-ROM drive second boot device will be the hard disk third boot drive disabled alright and uh, initial first display I could do the PCI Express 18 that's again just just personal preference and then I will change the PCH SATA controller to AHCI and that's it for this oh the G SATA will also be AHCI so all of my SATA ports will be AHCI compliant exit out of here power management settings I'm gonna go to HPED mode is 64 bit and that's it for this 
And that's pretty much it for my stock settings. That's all I need. Don't need anything else, which by the way, this is a segue into the um, Hackintosh uh, video that I'm about to make. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it for updating the BIOS for Gigabyte motherboards. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.